So we are at the end of the step functions overview. So on to the step functions cheat sheet. So step functions coordinate multiple AWS services into serverless workflows using state machines. A state machine is an abstract model which decides how one state moves to another uh, based on a series of conditions. Think of state machines like a flow chart. Step functions automatically triggers and tracks each step and retries when there are errors. So your application executes in the order as expected every time. Then we have the Amazon state language is how you define all your states and is written in JSON. You should really know how to create a step function. So make sure you spend time doing the follow along. There are two types of state machines available. We have standard for general purpose, long workloads, express streaming data, short workloads. There's definitely a bunch of other options, but that is the short of it that you need to know for the exam. Use cases for step functions, manage a batch job, Fargate or ECS container, sequential batch processing, creating a pipeline to transcode media files, transferring data records by performing operations on each record queued up via SQS, sequence, uh, sequence steps for ML, uh, uh, steps of ML workloads, coordinate, extract, transform, and load ETL jobs. So if you go check the AWS docs, they have a lot of examples of use cases. You should really know them because uh, you might see some questions that uh, indicate to, to identify those kind of situations. So let's just break down the types of states for step functions, which makes up everything about making step functions. So we have the pass state. This passes its input to its output without performing work. So I always like to think of it as a dummy or a mock. Passes, passes states are useful when constructing and debugging state machines. Task state represents a single unit of work performed by a state machine. So we have a lambda triggers a lambda function. Then we have activity. The, uh, the work is performed by a worker that can be hosted uh, on anywhere, such as EC2, ECS, mobile phones. And we then we have supported AWS services. So we pass parameters to an API uh, of an AWS service, and they take care of the task. Then you have choice states. Adds branching logic to a state machine. Wait state de delays the state machine from, a, uh, from continuing for a specified time. Succeed state stops an execution successfully. Fail state stops the execution of the state machine and marks it as a failure. Parallel states can be used to create parallel branches of an execution in your state machine. The state machine does not move forward until both states are complete. Very important state to know. And the last is map state can be used to run a set of steps for each element of an input array. Really great when you're iterating on a bunch of records in a database. So there you go, that's step functions.